So using generics with React components is an awesome way to make sure that your components are completely type safe, which makes things a lot easier to refactor and just gives you a better development experience overall. Let me show you what I mean. Here on the screen you can see two different table components. The top one is not using generics and the bottom one is using generics. They work exactly the same, they are using the same dummy data, but the magic is in the code side. So here we have our app with two tables. One is a normal table and one is a table with generics. You can see that there are column definitions here and it is using a dummy data. Let me show you what the dummy data looks like. It is just a list based on an employee interface. It has an ID, first name, last name, age, email and phone number. And here in the table component, we have a column definition, which is where we define each column of our table. We give the column a title and tell it what is the field that the data is going to come from. In that case, we're taking age and email. And for the name, we are passing, instead of the field, we're passing a render function, which is going to be a combination of the first name and the last name. In the generic table, is the same thing. There is maybe one thing that you're noticing. The color here on the first name and the last name is blue, while this is white. This is because the data that comes from the render function here is just any object. It doesn't know that it is an employee here. So the first name is any and the last name is also any. So if I make a mistake here, the compiler will not know that there is an error because it doesn't know the type from this raw data. And if I save this and come here, you're gonna have some errors like this at runtime that you won't even know exist before you run the code. And the same thing happens if you make a mistake on the field part. It doesn't give me any errors and if I save this, I can see that there is a bug here where the age is not showing up. And if you come to the generic component, you can see that the data here, it knows it's an employee because it's taking the type that we're passing from this data employees here. So if we make a mistake here, the compiler is not going to let this code build because there is an error, there is clearly an error here. Another thing, auto-completion also works. You can see all the elements, all the fields that this data has. And the same thing on the field side. If you make a mistake here, it's gonna complain because there is no ages field inside this object. And this component also has a onClick event. If I put the onClick event here, you can see that the raw data here is just on any object. So I don't know any elements that are inside here. If I put, for example, name, if I think that it is an object with the name field in it, if I put out the developer tools and click in on that element, you're gonna see undefined here because there is no name field in this object. And if I use the on click here, you can see that it gives me an error because there is no name field on this object. And I can see all the fields that exist here. And this will make sure that my component is completely type safe and we will avoid a lot of silly bugs in the code. So let's see how we can convert this normal table into a generic table. First, let me explain how this table works. You can see that there is a column def type here where there is this title, which is a required string. And it can contain a field or a render function which at least one of them is required. This is why I'm using this strange syntax with and and or. And the table component takes in a data, a column def, and an onClick function. The data is just a list of any objects. The column def is a list of the column def type that we just defined up here. And the onClick function takes a row data, which is any object, and returns nothing. We are using Tailwind here to style our component, but this is not important for this tutorial. So to turn this into a generic component, first we would need to take this column def and make it generic. We can do this by adding a generic type here. And we want the field to be a key of this generic type. If we go back to our employees, we can see that there are these keys of the elements. I want the field to be one of these keys. So what I'm gonna do is to put the field to be a key of T. This will make sure that the field is a key of this type that is passed here. And I'm gonna do a similar thing with the render function. The raw data is not gonna be any object here. 
it's gonna be that of the type we are passing here. And we also need to do a similar thing with the actual component type. We need to make this function generic. Usually on normal JavaScript, you would just do something like this, add a T here. But since we're using a TSX file, the compiler doesn't accept this kind of syntax. There are a few tricks that you can do to avoid this. One of them is to just add a comma here and it will accept the generic. But it is kind of strange. Another thing you can do is to just extend something, like if you extend unknown here. This would also be ac acceptable. But we don't want it to actually be an extension of unknown. We want it to be a, an object where all the keys are strings, so we're just gonna put it here. By the way, this problem here only happens with arrow functions. If we had just a normal function, this would work just fine. If we had like function here and take out the arrow, this would work just fine. But I'm gonna keep with the arrow function and extend the object. Now that we have the type, which will be the employee type here, we want the data to be the list of this employee type, which is a list of T. And we also want the column def to be of the type T. And finally, the raw data on the onClick function is also gonna be the type of the type T. And that's it. That's all we need to do to make our component extremely type safe. Let's go back to our main file and see what happened. So you can clearly see that it's already complaining of the name that we put here. So now if we come here and press control space to see the things that we can put, it's gonna autocomplete for the things that are possible inside this object. Here the fields are also already blue, which means that they already have the type because they know that this is an employee object. And if we make a mistake here on the field, this will also be shown as an error. And another thing, you can also actually call the component with this generic anno annotation here, telling that this is an employee. If we do this, it's not gonna allow us to pass anything else in this component that's not an employee. For example, if I just try to pass a list here that contains a first name, a last name, an age, and an email, it is not gonna accept this because this is not an employee. It's gonna tell me that there are some missing properties like ID and phone, even though I'm not using them in the column defs. But if I take out this employee generic, it's gonna do the correct inference and know that this type is okay for these column defs. So usually I don't use the generic annotation here only if you want to be really strict with the type that you want this table to have. I usually let it infer from the data that I'm passing. If I'm passing an employee list here, it is gonna automatically know that these column devs need to respect the employee type. I feel that the table component is one of the best examples for a generic component because you never know what is the type of the item that you want to show in this table. So it is a component that needs to work with a lot of types. And that's where generic is super useful. And by the way, if you want a library to make a table component that's already super type safe, you should check out Tanstack Table, which is a library that is completely customizable and completely type safe, built by Tanner Linsley. And it basically has anything you would want in a table component. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot the channel. And if you wanna see more of my content, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Janet.